Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit lighter of a topic, uh, something that has been going on on TikTok for a few months now, and people have asked me to kind of share share what I think about it. Um, and so there's been a trend on TikTok, and apparently this has been around for a while um, outside of TikTok, um, talking about big back activities. And a lot of times these big back activities will be basically people talking about maybe times when they ate a lot of food or went to multiple different like fast food restaurants because they wanted a specific fry from here and they wanted like a burger from this place. And they're just like funny videos that again are made to be a joke. And apparently, of course, whenever something is made to be a joke, people are upset about it. Uh, but before we get into the people that are upset, I do want to get into some of the videos just so you can see the level of jokingness that's going on with these people that are making the original videos. So this first video I think does a pretty good job of explaining it and it's a funny video. So this comes from the uh, TikTok account, The Sea and Comedy. And um, it's like an, uh, it's an original song talking about big back activities and kind of what it means and it kind of gives you a little bit of a background, I think. <laughs> Big back, big back, big back, big back. Yeah, my back is loaded up with snacks and different foods. Squeeze into this tiny shirt, my big back has no room. Big back, big back, big back, big back, big back, big back. So, I mean, that's pretty much the, the, the whole video, right? And so, it's just people joking about having a big back or really more than anything from what i've understood it's people poking fun at themselves for maybe habits that they know maybe weren't the best or aren't the best but again they can still pick fun at themselves and understand that you know maybe this is not the best thing that i could be doing but again i'm okay with being able to make fun of myself and i think what's really important is that there are tons of people that are making these kinds of videos that maybe aren't don't have a big bag they're not bigger right or maybe they were bigger in the past and they talk about things that maybe maybe they did in the past that caused them to you know like have a big back you know I've, I've talked about like the bad habits that i had when i was when i was overweight when i was at my heaviest like i used to go to mcdonald's and i would get like one of my my big back activities would be the lunch that i used to get pretty frequently would be two mcdoubles two mcchickens a large fry a large drink and then sometimes i would get chicken nuggets right like that's like a, a big back activity that's what how would you you would explain it and again i'm not saying that because i'm trying to shame someone or make someone feel bad about themselves i'm just saying like that was something that i used to do that i don't do anymore and it's just a way to explain it that's a, like a funny joke in my opinion right it's a big back activity but there have been people that are pretty upset about this and i i want to show kind of their reasoning and I'm curious what other people think. So here's the first video right here of someone that is not a fan of the big back trend. This stupid fucking big back trend shit that's going on right now pisses me the fuck off. Every single time I see one of you guys post one of these fucking big back trend videos or I see people laughing about it, all I can think is that I hope every single fat person in your life treats you like the fucking piece of shit that you are after this. I hope they see you. So that right there, it's like it's clear that this person Emo is like emotionally charged by this and you know that's fair enough but i just want to say that's almost in my opinion almost always a bad way to come into a video um especially when like i can under understand if the trend was like malicious in and of itself and there was really no redeeming qualities about it but like this trend the majority of the stuff that you see on tiktok and everywhere that people are talking about it they are jokes it's people that are making fun of themselves their, their past selves themselves now like it's not people like making fun of someone else it's people poking fun at themselves and i feel like if if you can't poke fun at yourself i i don't know that's not a, a life that i want to to live that's not how i am i think that you should you should be able to poke fun at yourself and i personally like if you see that and it doesn't resonate with you just skip it right it's it's clearly not for you but it's clear that this person really took it very very personally and um like <laughs> we'll, we'll go over some of the comments after this but yeah did did not go well <laughs> for what you're worth i hope they see you making fun of fat people and like fat people just eat nonstop all the time i hope they see you act so again that that's where it's like 
that's I feel she got that out of this trend or these these jokes, but that's not the intention that people are doing with it. And I think it's really important to be able to understand, hey, what is the intention behind this and really use that in the context of like what is, what are the people trying to say and what are the things that I am pulling out of it because of my own experience and how I'm feeling because I think it really is important to be able to understand like is this the intention that people are trying to put out there? Is this what someone is trying to say? Or am I just basically extrapolating this from my own experience and turning it into something that maybe it's not really? Something like that, and I hope they stop fucking with you. Because they deserve better. This shit's ridiculous. Like, you guys, you really is 2024. Y'all can't think of better jokes. You're just going to take low-hanging fruit and make fun of people who have different body types than you. So that's, again, that's not really the joke that I'm seeing here. I think it's people making fun of themselves for things they still do, right? Or things that they did in the past. And it, I, I mean, I've already said everything, but yeah. Like, you don't think that the people who are built like that wish that maybe they could have like a more socially acceptable body type? So the way I see it is like, yeah, like I, I can understand. Like if you're, if you're in a bigger body and you want to lose weight, I... I, I see this as like almost someone saying that, well, they can't be in a socially acceptable body. So we just, we just need to like accept that that's impossible and, and really like walk on eggshells around it. When, you know, I think that if someone really wants to be in that, you know, socially acceptable body, um, there are ways that you can lose weight. There are ways that you can get there if that's something that you truly want. Right. And if these, these big back activities are things that are holding you back, understand that there are ways to mitigate and change that those habits and those things that you're doing and so you can no longer be doing those things that are not serving you anymore but instead it's like it feels like well there's nothing i can do about it so we can't ever make fun of the, these things right this shit pisses me off so bad because i know there's some there's some little fucking kids crying and shit there's some little girls out there crying tonight because you're talk, fucking talking about big bag people and they can't help it that's just so I just hate the, I hate the, like, they can't help it, man. Like, I really, I, I really don't like that, that way of thinking. I think that there are, of course, there's, there are things that are out of your control, but it's, it's this way of thinking that makes it to where I think people can, they, they will try and like compare being big to something that really is non-changeable, right? Like your skin color or something like that. And then that's, that's how they're able to make that link is because, oh, well, I, there's nothing anyone can do about being bigger. And so making fun of someone for being bigger is the same as making someone making fun of someone because of their skin color or something like that, right? We've heard that before. And I think that that really is the link that kind of connects those for a lot of people that have this kind of thinking. It's how some people are built. And that I'm just, I'm sick of it, you guys. I'm not, this shit's just, this one makes me just fucking sad. So if we look at the comments, it's like, um, Ask to be a pointless respect the class is annoying it's literally just a joke you are the little kid little girl crying at night no one else is just you um bro felt personally attacked definitely like that's definitely the um what i got out of it um it's like it it, it felt like she felt like personally attacked by this whole situation um and then there was a another one so this is a video from um a woman where she's kind of sharing the same sentiment but again let's let her kind of share what she has to say this big back activity trend is actually like the worst thing i've ever seen on tiktok because why the worst thing i've ever seen on tiktok i mean i don't know if you're just saying that for a dramatic effect but if if this is really what you think the worst thing you've seen on tiktok is you have not seen much of tiktok <laughs> it's the cover of every single slideshow that i've been on a picture of a size two girl size zero actually saying oh my gosh such big back activities let me show you all the food i consume and just oh my god i'm such a, i have such a big back what i think that for that it's actually interesting because i i feel like there there are people that might f feel almost relieved because a lot of people they they feel like this sense of shame like oh i'm the only one that does something like this right whatever activity it might be whatever big back activity it might be i'm the only person that does this when people make these videos of like because a lot of times it's it's things that people are maybe a little embarrassed about they wouldn't really want to share so it gets people to talk about things that maybe they wouldn't otherwise talk about and then because people are talking about that there's other people that watch that and think to themselves oh there are other people that are doing this thing that i felt like i was the only one that did right so i, I think that there there are benefits to it there really are when the girl in the cover photo is like 
the girl posting it is like the skinniest daintiest little girl i've ever seen in my life and the fact that all the comments are like oh my gosh where does it all go i'm so jealous of your metabolism and like i don't care post whatever you want to post but my problem lies in the fact that if a fat person posted about this the comments would be worlds different okay so i don't know what we're posting this for is it to make yourself feel better is it like it's a joke that's that's what it's that's what it's for it's people just making fun of themselves as a joke like it's that it's not i think a lot of times people like want to make things deeper than they need to be um especially this especially on tiktok <laughs> it's just it feels so fat phobic to me and so weird so that's kind of like the the response that where people are kind of upset about it i personally think that it's kind of funny um i can understand i understand why people like to talk about these things i can see um like why people like to bring this stuff up i think that there are benefits to it obviously there are i'm sure there are some people that maybe are taking it too far and like if you're using it to shame someone else that's obviously always wrong but just because i always say this right just because something has the um capacity to be hurtful to someone that doesn't mean that everyone that decides to hop on the trend or talk about these things is trying to do that thing right they're just this is a trend it's something that people are talking about and so people are having fun with it and like if you can't see that and and separate the people that maybe are using it to attack others and be really mean versus the people that are just using it as like a funny joke and like hey this is you know relatable or whatever i don't know i just i i kind of feel bad for you for that but i just wanted to share that i'm curious what y'all think down in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace